Molecular Genetics, from RNA to Proteins, a la uh, So we're back uh, with Dr. Ruth, talking about biology, a la uh, from RNA to proteins. Uh, talk us through the process. Uh, how does RNA become a protein? Yes, so that process is called translation. So you're basically mm -hmm. translating from an RNA, which kind of the same way you translate a language into a protein language. Um, and it takes place um, in cellular machinery called ribosomes, which are composed of proteins and like small RNAs. So basically, um, there's kind of three steps to the, the translation process. Um, there's an initiation step. So basically, just like we needed to find a start site for a transcription, we have to find a start site for translation. And the way that we figure out where that's starting is looking for what's called um, a start codon. So a codon is a three, a set of three letters of RNA in this case, mm -hmm. and as soon as the ribosome sees an AUG, it'll know that that's start, it's called a start codon. So that's where it's going to start turning the RNA into the protein. How is this process initiated? Absolutely. So, it, so the, the translation initiates at the AUG. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the first amino acid gets, that gets added is going to be a methionine. Mm -hmm. um, then there's the elongation phase, which is basically adding all the other amino acids. And what happens is, you know, one of those specialized RNAs we called, we talked about was the tRNA, the mm -hmm. transfer mm -hmm. RNA. Mm -hmm. So its job is basically to grab onto an amino acid and bring it in matching whatever the RNA sequence is. What is an amino acid? So an amino acid is actually, it's kind of the equivalent of A, T, C, and G, but it's for proteins. So it's basically the, the units that make up a protein or a polypeptide chain. Um, so the, the tRNA is kind of cool because it has, on one side, it has nucleotides that it can match up with the RNA on, and the other side, it hangs on to an amino acid involved in protein. So it kind of links the two together. Got it. So then what is a peptide? Like, I, I, I'm thinking either stomach medicine or uh, soda. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, so peptide in this case is um, is just a bunch of amino acids strung together. And it can be a, a polypeptide means a bunch of peptides, and so that would be kind of a protein put together. Got it. Okay. Um, and then things end. There's a termination point. Yep. How does RNA finalize the process of protein translation? Yeah, so there are actually three codons um, that basically tell the ribosome to stop. And they, in this case, they don't actually code for any amino acids, but instead these special release factors come in and they knock the ribosome off the mRNA and they release the protein. Got it. And so now the protein's been released. Uh, it's going off to find its way in the world, yep. um, wide open spaces. Um, then what, what, after that translation, what, what then happens? Yeah, so uh, most proteins aren't quite ready to go right when they're made. Um, so a couple things happen. One is that they sometimes get what's called post-translationally modified. So they ask, they'll get molecules added onto them, whether it's sugars or other small molecules that help them function. Um, and the other thing that happens is they have to actually fold into their shape because most proteins, the way that they work is by folding into a specific conformation. How do you mean folding? Like I'm thinking origami. It's like origami, yeah. So when we think about translation happening, you usually think about kind of like a protein that's just a straight line mm -hmm. like this. Um, but in order to act as an enzyme, the protein ends up folding up into a, like a ter what's called a tertiary structure. So it kind mm. of makes certain shapes. It has clefts. It has you know parts that can bind to other proteins, and that has to happen um, wow. before it can function. Yeah, I had a yoga class that was like that. Yeah. Um, all right. So it's from RNA to proteins. I'll ask up. How does RNA become a protein? How is this process initiated? What is an amino acid? What is a peptide? How does RNA finalize the process of protein translation?